Okay, so a while back. <laughs> Point one, masking. This is when you hide your true self from people. And at first, I usually think that me showing my dif different sides of myself to people in different gatherings is basically because I have different sides to me. Like, I can do a lot of things. I can sing, I can dance, I can be quiet, I can be loud. So I felt like that's just because I have different sides to me. But then when it becomes alarming is when you're showing your different sides to people in different gatherings, not because you have different sides to yourself, but because you think that that is the side of you that they would appreciate. So, for example, me going to a gathering and I choose to comport myself because I feel like that's what this kind of gathering will appreciate. That's what Bola likes. Bola likes me being loud. So I'll be loud around Bola. Um, Chineye likes me being calm. So I'm going to be calm around Chineye. Or... Um, yeah, so we basically show different sides of us to different people because that's what they would like. That's what we think that they would like. And remember, you're not living your life to please people, so that shouldn't be the case. Number two, you overanalyze your behavior. So what does that mean? You know that situation where you feel like you get back home or just on your way after an event or after meeting with someone and just think what if that person thought this way what if that person doesn't want to ever meet with me again oh i shouldn't have said that i should have smelled better i shouldn't have smelled at all i should just have been quiet you know you know you you basically think about different things that you shouldn't have done or you could have done or you should have done like analyze your behavior not for you to actually pick and grow on you're basically analyzing it and then forming an opinion that maybe this person won't like me because of this. Maybe this person would not come to this event again. Ah, I should have stopped. I shouldn't have said anything. I should have, you know, all this overanalyzing your behavior. That shows that you lack self-love. Yeah, you focus on your failure. That's point three. <laughs> so basically, you focus on the things that you do not do right. And when you lack self-love, is when you that's all you see about yourself. The things that you know you didn't do right. A, I, I didn't graduate with the first class, or I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't know, or I don't know how to speak with people, or hey, um, because I didn't graduate to the first class, so I should not be speaking with people. You know, basically, you just found. And building mountains around the things that you are not good at or around the things that you shouldn't have done and then it basically shows so many things it shows that you do not love yourself right because there are also other a lot of amazing stuff about you that you're not focusing on another thing is that you 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 fear that people are you're going to be judged by others you have that fear that you're going to be judged by others fam not everybody is perfect. In fact, nobody is perfect. So, of course, people will always have the opinions about you. But the fact that you are scared that other people will judge you, like before you make a post on social media, you're like, people will think I'm this, people will think I'm this, people will think I'm that. Now they will think I don't have this, they will think I don't have that. Like overanalyzing what you think other people will be thinking and just feeling like they are going to judge you when they may not even have your time. It shows you don't like you lack self love actually. <laughs> Low self esteem, like basically you feel inferior to other people. Like you feel like your achievements, no matter how big they are, you just feel like it's not good enough, or you feel like this person is. There's always somebody that you feel like that person is better than you. Now we 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 should have mentors, we should have role models, you know, people that we look up to. But then when it gets to that point where you are. <laughs> Every single person does everything better than you and there's nothing you do better than anybody or there's nothing you really do that you know you know how to do then the alarm is actually ringing at that point that shows that you lack self-love you struggle with your physical and mental um, care so for example um you you lack appetite because you always have something on your mind um physical care you do not really take care of yourself you feel like there's no harm going to even dress up that will look as nice as 
and they will not rest so because of that they don't let me dress up don't let me put any effort into anything i'm not really in the mood to eat you know you struggle with boots putting your mind in the right place for you to function it shows that you do not appreciate yourself and it shows that you do not love yourself you need excessive um words of affirmation now don't get me wrong every everybody at one point or the other actually need words of affirmation like hey um abisola you're doing well hey abisola i love what your brand is about hey um abisola you look beautiful like everybody wants such words but then when you notice that yours is excessive like if you don't hear words of affirmation you are not good to go if you don't receive approval from people you do not really want to run with it it shows that you do not really love yourself so and it can be challenging um when you're in a relationship actually it can be really bad because um you drain your partner you're basically there waiting for your partner to say you're doing well your partner is also running his race or her race so you expecting that your partner should always give you words of affirmation words of affirmation words of affirmation words of affirmation and then it doesn't come it really shows that <laughs> and that's when you can actually sit back it's, it's nothing actually there's nothing wrong with your partner if they refuse to continually give you words of affirmation because that's kind of like your responsibility it, it typically shows that you lack self-love when you need that word of affirmation all over and over and over and over and over again you actually shut people out with the fear of rejection so basically you feel like hey it's better i do not let people into my space then them come into my space and then not really liking what they find now this this can be really terrible and it, it affects a lot of people in like relationship they really don't want to go into any relationship because they feel like the person will not like what the person sees so in short they can be i don't know if you met people like this outside they're really cool but when they sense that you are about to ask them out or to get intimate they run away they just ghost you and it's not it's not that you are the problem it's actually because the person lacks that self um self love so they believe that nobody will actually like me and instead of them getting into the relationship and um having a heartbreak or then the person leaving them they just choose to just lock up nothing is happening but they just want to lock up nothing is going on but they just don't want anybody and it can be really dangerous because by the time we see all this it might really be kinda kinda too late actually also um showing that you lack self-love you actually see it in your confidence um like we've already discussed a number of points and this is really important so if you are struggling with your confidence level it's a sign that you lack self-love like because that means you feel inferior or that means if you feel you do not appreciate your success that means you do not think you have anything to offer that means you do not think that you have anything to bring to the table so because of that you just basically lack confidence you're in a room of people with people where you're meant to speak up you know make your voice heard but you just feel like you have nothing to drop right and it's a major pointer to the fact that you lack self-love finally you settle for less settling for less means that you are basically um thinking that since i cannot i cannot get this then i would just put put my since i feel like i'm not here i'll just put my banner here because i think that this is what i qualify for and actually you might be even above what you think you do not qualify for so you basically settle for less to have to avoid heartbreak to avoid different things so for example um, based on your qualifications and everything, you're meant to be able to get a job as a director of an organization. But because you feel like you're not good enough, the other people that are better than me, even though she dress better, she speaks better English, so she'll be given the position before me, then you choose to um, apply for a receptionist role. Why? Because that's what you think you can get. So in short, you settle for less instead of aiming higher. If you've learned one or two things from this video i would actually like you to subscribe i would like you to share this video to your family and friends because everybody deserves to understand um the traits of self-love i would like you to subscribe i would like you to like i would like you to leave a comment thank you so much 
go bless you.